Hi everyone, uh, my name is Elise. I am a 25 year old living in Toronto, Canada. I did a empty apartment tour a couple months ago and now it's fully furnished. Plants, lots of botanical, natural, airy vibes. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what it looks like now that it's furnished. If you haven't seen my last video where it's temp empty, definitely go check that out so that you can see kind of a before and after. Some stats for you, I live in downtown Toronto, right in the hub of downtown Toronto and where everything is uh, happening. So my studio is super small, um, it's only 300 square feet. You'll kind of see how I best utilize the space and I was very mindful in making sure all of the furniture pieces I got and even the decor I got were not only aesthetically pleasing, also very functional. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so just like last time, I'm going to start at the entrance. So this is my front door. I got this umbra hook set for my purses and masks and keys place where i can just hang everything up the minute i come in through the door recently got quite a few purses and i don't know where to put them yet i have yet to do my spring cleaning so they're all just up on this hook right now and if i spin you around this is a mirror i got from eq3 i really love it it's like an organic shape and it's not perfect but it just hides my electrical panel so it was really ugly before i debated between getting a mirror or a painting but i figured a mirror would be best so i can like check myself right before i leave i also got this doormat so this is a i forget what it's called but it's like a wicker basket material um, really great for when i come in and out of the house i swing over this is a shoe cabinet which is perfect because it's right by the entrance this is where i keep all my shoes swapped out the handles so this shoe cabinet again is from wayfair and the knobs i have was just like round silver knobs and it was really plain i went to uh, winners and found kind of like terracotta pebble stone like textured knobs which i act i love so much reminds me of like red bean and then up top i just have a candle that i will light plant um, i'll put the name of the plant on the screen as well and then a little jewelry tray holder and i can put on some jewelry before i leave the house over here, I have another mirror um, right next to my closet. So this is my one closet that I have in this space. Ignore my luggage. I'm going on a trip. Here, I thought was the perfect spot for a um, full-length mirror. So, you know, when I do my outfit of the days and I check my fit, I leave. I do that here. This mirror is from Wayfair. I'll also be sure to link everything below, so if you like any of the items, you can go ahead and get them yourself. Right under here, I stacked two kind of box-looking shelves on top of each other. This I actually just found in my building. We have like a recycling spot where people just dump like furniture and random stuff that they don't want and these two looked in really good condition and it's in the same style and aesthetic I have of my space so I thought it was perfect. I love this lamp. This is also another piece from EQ3. This light turned on. It's such a mood. It really brings like a nice ambiance to the space. I do really love this lamp that I got. It's like the perfect size. It, it gives me like Japanese vibes. And that's that lamp. You can see my whole one side of the wall in this view. So I got these fake vines from Amazon and I put these around the top and I think it adds a really nice touch and makes it look 
very like, a botanical and brings like the outdoors in and also brings in some nature which definitely feel is lacking living in downtown Toronto installed a projector I got the Ben Q projector um, again I'll link it below is such high quality this is the murphy bed so i can flip this over the couch and this becomes my bed my couch i just have a cute little cat pillow a little throw blanket but here i got my coffee table so this is a clear acrylic waterfall coffee table from wayfair uh, the rug is also from Wayfair, which I absolutely love. It has such cool like detailing, and I love this little pop of orange. So far, it has not been too hard to maintain. I just need to vacuum once a week to keep the color nice and bright. This is my home office corner, so you'll see I have my standing desk. Um, this I got from Amazon, so my space here is actually really narrow. The really common standing desks like Flexi Spot, those brands, they're actually all like way too long, so I really had to look and do research and find this one from Amazon. It ended up being really perfect because you can see my murphy bed like it has some depth to it so like technically this part of the desk i like never really use because it's you know it's too deep and i think having this jut out it really makes me feel like okay i'm actually at a desk and not like in like inside like next to the murphy bed if that makes sense so it's the same if you know like flexi spot you can adjust the height you can set your favorite so i really love it and up top i got these two floating shelves that i try my best to like match the color to this desk and i think it makes it look very cohesive and unit just have some plants and lamps and um, a calendar it's decor so i have these little things i got from amazon which you can just like stick to any surface and it um, keeps your cords uh, up here and then if I move down of this cabinet which again I found at my buildings like recycling area so this used to just be a black cabinet but I decided to paint it yellow and I'm so glad I did it brings such a nice pop of color to the space here I just have my office chair and this is from Wayfair a brown office like faux leather chair swing over this is really the other side of my space from the last video i'm not sure if i mentioned but when i put my murphy bed down i need to take off my pillows and blankets every single time um was getting really annoying so instead i bought this enormous like storage container i got my mom to make this canvas fabric cover so that it blends a bit nicer into the island and this is where i put my pillows and blankets into which may seem like a bit of hassle but honestly it's been like six months doing it and i'm pretty used to it now so it doesn't feel like a big deal I have my garbage can and it's really sensitive so if i walk like right next to it it will open every time so i've like trained myself to walk against the window so i don't trigger it every time i walk past it as for the top here i like to keep it pretty clean and not have too much clutter the only things i keep on here all the time is this so this is kind of a catch-all for when i leave the apartment love that it's like a pot planter in the middle and this plant is just like fully thriving i love her and back here i have another plant um, it's so pretty as for the kitchen not much has changed in the kitchen so i won't really go over anything there um if you want to know details of like the fridge and washer and like the appliances um, i recommend you check out the other video i did of the empty apartment tour could go over that in detail more in that video this corner which i'm obsessed with i call this my little coffee bar cart corner it's so cute i found this little coffee uh, shelf situation can you guess where it's from let's say it all together wayfair <laughs> right now this is kind of a catch-all so it looks a little messy macrame i'm planning to hang up here as well 
and I'm gonna put fruits there. And here is where I make my coffee and tea in the morning. I got this um, philodendra leaf and this pot is from Umbra. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. It like reminds me of a paper clip. Here is a little, uh, supposed to be a rainbow planter, but I just put my like tea bags in here, which is perfect because I make my tea right here. And this plant actually hides my thermostat, which is perfect. It's kind of ugly. So when you look at it, you can't really see it. And so this is the projector I was talking about earlier. When it projects, it's the it, it like fills the entire screen perfectly. So I'll cut away to a different clip at night for when it's down, but it's like such a mood and I love that I can just have movie night every single night. I do want to mention a couple things. So first is this hanger from Umbra. You'll notice that I'm very loyal to a few furniture brands. So I put my like workout caps there. Um, that's a fanny pack. Here I put a little bulletin board of random things. Tattoo aftercare instructions because I got tattoos recently. Um, tickets of events I've gone to. In the bathroom, different from last time, this bath mat, like, I don't know if you can tell on screen, but it's like actual pebbles. So when you step on it, it feels like you're standing on like a riverbed. Again, I love the whole bringing the outdoors in. I just think that's like so zen and it makes me feel calm and peaceful. So this is from um, Linen Chest and it's actually two mats and I just like put them next to each other. But I just have some of my like everyday things out on the counter essential oils diffuser that i like to put on not so much these days because it's getting into summer and it's quite hot but in the winter i loved having this on all the time here i have a really cute like soap dish this was insanely expensive for what it is but i must say it's very cute and i really like it and here inside the medicine cabinet I do work with some brands that send me free things i'm obviously trying to do the whole creator thing so yeah lots of products that i get to try which i'm so grateful for next to the toilet i just have extra pompous grass that i put in this water what's it called a water uh like a watering can um on this planter holder and then in my shower, I just installed, uh, I don't even know what to call this, a, a, a shower um, container pull thingy <laughs> to put all of my products. Here's a, another full pan of the entire space. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching my updated studio apartment tour. I hope you saw some things that you liked or got inspiration from. Let me know in the comments which part of the studio you liked the most. Was it the coffee corner, my home office? I would love to know. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. That's it. I hope you have a good day, night, afternoon, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!